hello students welcome to maths class in chapter parallel lines we have already done parallel lines transversal angles formed on parallel lines properties of angles on parallel lines today we will continue with find unknown angles now as we know that eight angles formed when a transversal cuts two parallel lines and also i have told you that marking of angles we will do anti clockwise so here it comes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and today we will learn that if out of these eight angles any of one angle will be given how you will find rest of the angles so let's understand with examples here in this figure this angle is 80 degree so in the given figure find unknown angles here in a given figure ab is parallel to cd and ef is transversal next step is marking of angles here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 we have done marking anti clockwise now given Angle one equals to eighty degree. We have to find out all angles. Now, angle one and angle three, these are forming X shape. So these are vertically opposite angles, and we know vertically opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle one equals to angle three. reason vertically opposite angles therefore angle 3 equals to 80 degree because angle 1 was given 80 degree now next how to find angle 2 as you know ab is a straight line and angle 1 and angle 2 these are adjacent angles on straight line therefore angle 1 and angle 2 these are linear pair angles so here angle 1 plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree because these are linear pair angles here angle 1 is 80 degree put value plus angle 2 equals to 180 degree we have to find angle 2 so shift 80 degree with the sign of minus here it comes angle 2 equals to 180 degree minus 80 degree after subtracting you will get angle 2 equals to 100 degree now angle 2 and angle 4 again these are vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are equal therefore angle 2 equals to angle 4 so if angle 2 is 100 degree then angle 4 is also equals to 100 degree now next we have to find out angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 angle 8 now c angle 4 and angle 6 these two are forming z shape so angle 4 and angle 6 these are alternate angles and alternate angles are equal therefore angle 4 equals to angle 6 here reason is alternate angles If angle four is hundred degree, therefore angle six also equals to hundred degree. Now, angle one and angle five, these are forming 
F shape. So these two are corresponding angles. Therefore angle 1 equals to angle 5 because they are corresponding angles. So if angle 1 is 80 degree therefore angle 5 is also equals to 80 degree. Now next angle 3 and angle 7. Now see here angle 3 and angle 7. These are also forming F shape. Both are down to these lines. So angle 3 and angle 7. These are corresponding angles. So angle 3 equals to angle 7. Now if angle 3 is 80 degree, therefore angle 7 also equals to 80 degree. Similarly, angle 4 and angle 8. Again F shape. So these two are also corresponding angles. So here angle 4 is 100 degree. Therefore angle 8 also equals to 100 degree. Now we have find out all the angles. Here angle 1 80 degree. Angle 2 100 degree. Angle 3 80 degree. Angle 4 100 degree. Angle 5 80 degree. Angle 6 100 degree. Angle 7 80 degree. Angle 8 100 degree. Now let's see one more example. Here this figure will be given. In given figure find each one of the unknown angles. In a given figure. L parallel to M and N is transversal. Next step, marking of angles. Here mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what is given? Angle 8 that is 110 degree. We have to find all angles. Here 8 and 6 vertically opposite angles. So angle 8 equals to angle 6. If angle 8 is 110 degree therefore angle 6 also 110 degree. Now how to find angle 7? Angle 8 plus angle 7 these are linear pair angles. Therefore angle 7 plus angle 8 equals to 180 degree. Now put value angle 7 plus 110 degree equals to 180 degree. Now we want to find angle 7. Therefore shift 110 degree on the other side with the sign of minus. So here it comes angle 7 equals to 180 degree minus 110 degree. Here angle 7 will come 70 degree. So first we have find out angle 6. Here angle 6 comes 110 degree. And angle 7 comes 70 degree. Now next step to find angle 5. Now angle 5 and angle 7. These are vertically opposite angles. So angle 7 equals to angle 5 because they are vertically opposite angles. Therefore angle 5 equals to 70 degree. So because here angle 7 is 70 degree. Therefore angle 5 is also equals to 70 degree. Because these two are vertically opposite angles. Now next angle 4 and angle 5. These are forming big bracket. So angle 4 and angle 5. These are co-interior angles. And sum of co-interior angles equals to 180 degree. So here angle 4. Plus angle 5 equals to 180 degree. Now here put value. Angle 4 plus 70 degree equals to 180 degree. 
Here shift 70 degree to find angle 4. Here it comes. Angle 4 equals to 180 degree minus 70 degree. Therefore angle 4 equals to 110 degree. So here it comes. Angle 4 110 degree. Now next how we can find angle 1, 2 and 3. So here angle 3 is equals to angle 5. As you can see, they are forming Z shape. So, angle 3 and angle 5, these are alternate angles. And alternate angles are equal. So, if angle 5 is 70 degree, therefore, angle 3 also equals to 70 degree. Because angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate angles. Now, next, angle 1 and angle 5. They are forming F shape. So, they are corresponding angles. If angle 5 is 70 degree, then angle 1 will also be equals to 70 degree. So, here angle 1 equals to angle 5 as these are corresponding angles. Therefore, angle 1 equals to 70 degree. And the last one is angle 2. Here angle 2 and angle 6. These are again corresponding angles as they are forming stairs shape or F shape. So angle 2 equals to angle 6 as these are corresponding angles. So if angle 6 is 110 degree therefore angle 2 will also be equals to 110 degree. So, here angle 2 equals to 110 degree. So, students, here we have find out all the angles. Here angle 8 was given 110. Angle 6, 110. Angle 7 comes 70 degree. Angle 5, 70 degree. Angle 4, 110 degree. Angle 3, 70 degree. Angle 2, 110 degree. And angle 1 that is 70 degree. So with this you all have understood how to find all the unknown angles on parallel lines when a transversal cuts these two parallel lines. So students with the help of this video I hope you all will be able to solve the related sums given in your snap homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.